guiding the people. These are the things Center for Energy as a non-profit research organization worldwide. We are doing this for last about 10 years. Everywhere in every country we are going and we try to bring in our for the government organizations, the, the law enforcing authorities, so that we can share each other. And we always promote the local living, local business. So with this words, I like to uh, introduce my people uh, who is here uh, to you. First of all, I like to uh, introduce uh, Mrs. Mosheka Afroz Khan. She is an university graduate of Dhaka University, one of the best university of Bangladesh, and did uh, her MBA there in the, in the university. And she is responsible for international program coordinator of Center for Energy. We, we do worldwide all programs she coordinates and also the member of the uh, research team of Center for Energy. And the next is Mr. Lito Ahmed. He is the uh, steering committee member of Center for Energy in USA. And he is also the, the president of the America Bangladesh Chamber of Commerce and Industry in New York. Uh, she is a businessman and he is a businessman. And Mr. E. Rohil is also a businessman here. He is living in Bronx and a very philanthropic gentleman. He is the board member of uh, the steering committee member of Center for Energy here in uh, New York. And we have amongst us Mr. Uh, Manik Mia Talukdar. He is a businessman, a real, real estate business, and he is also a member of our steering committee here, yeah. in, New York, here yeah. in New York. And uh, i like to introduce also Mr. Uh, Sakhout Hussein Selim. He is the editor of Online USA here in New York and he is also the team member of our global media team. We have a global media team worldwide from different countries. We have a couple of people, they uh, assemble there and they disseminate the good messages to the people, who, what we do here. So he is cover, uh, covering this today's event and also the others. So with these words, I'd like to invite Mosheka to make a small presentation before the, uh, the uh, well. team. Uh, not a presentation, I just wanted to take a few minutes to uh, talk about what our organization has been doing for decades. Um, actually, Center for NRB is a non-profit research organization. Uh, what we try to do is we try to uh, help the non-residential Bangladeshis globally. Uh, we help them to collaborate with uh, government and non-government organizations uh, in different countries of the world. We held uh, eight to ten conferences every year. Uh, in countries like Dubai, Qatar, uh, USA, Bangladesh, Egypt. So what we wanted to uh, uh, sort of like tell you is that this organization is actually working towards the welfare of the NRB communities globally. So like we have collaborated with you, we collaborate with uh, many other organizations so that we can actually understand the problems and grievances of NRB communities around the, around the globe so we can go to the uh, authorities, we can go to the uh, concerned parties and tell them about what NRBs are facing worldwide. Um, in uh, last year, in the pandemic, we could not actually uh, hold many conferences, but we still managed to hold two conferences, uh, both in Bangladesh and USA. I guess you were present in the US conference as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there due to some uh, family crisis issues. So uh, the reason why we're here or we do all these things is because we want to talk about uh, how these NRB communities can contribute to the welfare of the community in which they're living. Uh, and what we try to do is we build, we try to build a network. We try to facilitate them so that um, they can contribute to the community in which they're residing. Also, they can contribute in their own motherland. So uh, that's more or less uh, uh, what we know about uh, Center for uh, NRB. And uh, we will also be holding another uh, conference in 2021. I think we will be holding it in Bangladesh. Uh, we would like to recognize organizations who have contributed even during the pandemic uh, for the uh, betterment of the community. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Shakyukuri can talk more about uh, the recognitions. I think NYPD will one will be one of the uh, 
parties who have actually helped us uh, you know conduct all these uh, uh, conferences and who have helped us to reach our goal so uh, that's why actually we are here to uh, thank you to recognize NYPD for helping us uh, build the network and uh, for helping the NRB community generally uh, yes, uh, uh, before you come, I'll, I'd like to uh, compliment some of the points that Mushreka mentioned already. Is uh, Center for NRB, each year we do seven to eight international conferences in eight to ten countries uh, in Bangladesh, USA, UK, year. UA, every year. But only the pandemic year, we cannot do it. Only the, we did two in USA and in Bangladesh. And every year after the conclusion of the year activities, Next year, I mean this like January, February, in every year, next, before year, like the 2020. The activities of 2020, we recognize in 2021. So last pandemic year, we did very little work because of the mm -hmm. pandemic, cannot go everywhere. But we will continue our recognition program. We always recognize some of the organizations who supported these activities. In fact, it is not the, only the Bangladeshi ones. It's a global citizen support. And we support lawful living, lawful business. That's why we mostly work with the uh, um, uh, law enforcement authority. Because lawful living is, is, is a main instrument which the organization like yours uh, I mean, promote and maintain. So uh, the nominations coming for the 2021 recognition, I mean the 2020, the continued name is generally for nomination. I hope when we get back to Bangladesh, we we'll finalize and we'll, uh, if the NYPD is selected for this yearly recognition from our side, I will let you know by email. And uh, it, the program will be in Dhaka. I hope that we will let you know and the date and time and when will be communicated to you. A video for the message can be sent to us after this uh, nomination, like this, the Peace Award or something like that. Every answer giving the nomination. So, this, like this one. And this is the bottom line. Uh, do you have any, any point to contribute here? Do you want to any contribute anything? Mr. Taluka, do you want I'd to like mention? to uh, uh, give our thanks a lot for helping us to uh, give you time and sit down and discuss with uh, uh, those things. And thanks, Mr. Mr. Shakil, also. Thank you very much. Thank you anyway to give us time and your this office and everything for thank you for Police Department, thank you. Yes, sir. Especially thank you last time. Support the NRB here and lot of lot of appreciate because NYPD, lot of work and lot of people working the NYPD in Bangladesh. So I'm so proud of NYPD. Thank you so much. And, and with this, all the sweet words, we can bring it for you right now. The recognition of the hope it will follow, and we're hoping from next June to September. Uh, we'll go for a, a, a little bigger uh, conference here in New York, yeah. which will be the USA conference. People from different different part will come here, and uh, we will work it out with you. It's the same whole same when when your organization will be a party to this, like the previous one. We will uh, definitely will work it out when I will go back to Bangladesh. And with these words, thank you very much, and thank you very much for giving these small <coughs> souvenirs to us. Thank you. Uh, Given by the, can you can you take a picture of this one, please? I would like to say a few words. Yeah, yes, you have been able to. the Ramkumi added to get away with this. Please, please give me a minute. Thank you. And now, floor is yours, please. <laughs> so, my gratitude, I cannot say enough. Um, I know you said the recognition. For 2020 comes in 2021, but this right here is recognition in itself that speaks words that I cannot even recite. I want to say thank you for allowing us to even host your event and even participate or even be a part of everything that you've done because you not only have opened your eyes to the different NRBs across the world, but you opened your eyes, my eyes. You opened my eyes, the eyes of those who are a part of me and community outreach. So I Siddiqui has been a great asset. And prior to me coming to this unit, I was not familiar with NRB.
and to be a part of this and see the diversity that you have when you hold your conference mm -hmm. is tremendous. People from all over the world sitting in and speaking facts and giving insight and showing their gratitude and support for the NRBs. And you ask, what can they do to partake in the places that they reside in? Just be a part of us and extending their hand and helping hand. We have things that we can offer for also their kids, such as the guitar program, different events that go on. We have uh, camps in the summer that are free. Unfortunately, the pandemic put a hold on those things, but we hope once everything subsides and we get back to a normal living, we can offer these things too and are be more fluently in that way they can be a part of it. So I say that to say, we are thankful that we are now a family as a whole and the NYPD is a part of your family. And if there's anything that we can do for you, you have our number, you have our contact, and this building is to, for you too. As long as we can provide it, we will offer it. Our connections don't come from us putting this uniform on, it comes from the support of the community. And you are the community. And RB, they're the community. So whether they're residents or non-residents, they are a part of us and we need them in order for us to be great. NYPD's finest is not finest alone. We're finest as a whole of our support from our community. And that's what we look to bring and that's what we continue to do. And I thank you. This right here is more than enough. I tell you, I spoke to Sergeant Siddiqui this morning. I said, why, why? He says, just don't worry. This is what we do. Just, just be thankful. I said, I am thankful. I'm thankful just from the email alone. <laughs> so to, for you to come out your way in person and to present this to me, I say, thank you. I cannot show uh, or say, I wish I could have given more bags. Had I had more time, I would have, but I just wanted to come with something to show you that my gratitude is there and I'm appreciative of everything that you do and being a part of your conference, even for the first one here in America during a pandemic. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's historic right there yeah. and I thank you all. We were probably one of the very few organizations who were actually allowed to uh, conduct an uh, in-person conference in the States and thanks to you guys, obviously, because you guys were there, we could uh, make it happen. Uh, we had one in Bangladesh, we struggled a lot to uh, conduct that one. And then this one, uh, he was saying that it would be very difficult. Uh, they wouldn't allow us probably. And then uh, I think because of you guys, we made it, we made it happen. And it, it is actually historic because a lot of other organizations were like blabbering, how did you do that? How did you manage? It, it's impossible. And it was pretty much uh, during the peak of the pandemic so we are very grateful to you i would just like to add two points number one uh, when nrbs see uh, the involvement of uh, organizations like nypd like we try to collaborate with organizations new organizations every time that actually gives them a sense of relief that actually gives them uh, that yes we belong to the community and if we face any trouble they're here uh, the door is open we can always go and speak about it. This is one. And the second thing is, I think it, it is also enlightening for you as well, that we as NRBs in the community, we are there and we are actually contributing to, to uh, the benefit and welfare of the United States of America, right? So I think um, this is the reason we are actually holding conferences. A lot is unknown, to be honest. You might have, like you said, you didn't even know that uh, NRBs exist and then uh, even if we do, we are actually uh, helping uh, to build the community, right? So I think uh, this is the basic reason why we are here. We are working all over the world uh, to let people know that NRBs, non-resident Bangladeshis, are like an asset for everyone, not only for their motherland, but also for the people, for the community in which they are living right now. So this is our uh, aim. And there are other things that uh, the organization does, the technical things. But uh, thank you for recognizing us and giving us that honor. Thank you so much. And, and, and Piri, I, I, I really uh, will continue this relation in future for, for betterment of the communities. The two nations, United States and Bangladesh, these two countries should go together for betterment of the, both the countries. And new government is here. We are also definitely working with our government in Bangladesh. 
new government already taken place. So we believe the, in recent days, in coming days, the better understanding and cooperation between the, the police authorities also uh, should be there. And the police and people relations also be increased by this movement and we will keep in touch, in touch with you. Definitely. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank I appreciate you your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.